ओम शांति इन टूडेज मुरली इन द ब्लैसिंग बाबा यूज अ वर्ड सिंपथी एंड वेन एवर बाबा यूज सम पर्टिकुलर वर्ड्स वी नीड टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वट बाबा इज मीनिंग बाय दैट बिकॉज यू नो समाइम्स when we use words in the world they mean very different now the thing is we live in a body conscious world for 63 births all our language our vocabulary is very body conscious and the connotations of words are also very body conscious so when baba you know is uplifting us on the spiritual plane then he cannot create new words so he has to use the vocabulary which is in practice but we also have to understand the intention with which baba uses those words so that we can get the implication of what baba is telling us so this word sympathy now usually in the world when you say sympathy it is a very body conscious word because you know it is like sympathy for the poor sympathy for the downtrodden so it's a it's a word of ego where you feel you are you know you are um, wealthier or more powerful so you are kind of having mercy on them but baba says that's not sympathy what i am talking about is spiritual sympathy where you feel that the other one is also baba's child and i have taken everything from baba so i need to share my gifts with that one and in the spiritual journey what i have felt is it's not what you give actually but that bhavna that goes behind that act of giving that's very important and that's what nourishes the soul i remember earlier parents didn't have a lot of income so you know these days we earn much more than we earned earlier so the capacity to earn salaries big fat salaries has increased earlier you know the incomes were meager but all the attention of the parents was on the child and the child so you know even when the parent bought a very small gift maybe a very ordinary pencil box but then he put in so much of love and effort and thought and attention into it that that pencil box gave that feeling to the child that my parent loves me so that is sympathy so when you put in when you really feel for when you really have that heartfelt love for another one and you invest your thought and time and attention and energy into thinking about how to make the other one feel loved and how to create an environment for peace and purity that the other one can experience that is sympathy and now that we have knowledge we know we don't need pencil boxes we need a space of peace a space where there is purity we need an environment a culture of love and compassion and power spiritual strength so baba says when you have sympathy when you understand when you feel that the 
this is what the world needs right now this is the call of time this is what every soul is craving for what is every soul craving for the right path an environment of purity safety security peace love happiness so that is what everybody needs and when you are when you keep that in your awareness and you are always you know doing something or the other even even if it is not a direct you know if even if there is nobody receiving that in the present moment but when you put in your thought and effort and time and attention to build that to create that environment that is an act of sympathy and i will just tell you one thing so you know sometimes uh, so i will tell you one incident so there was this brother and he used to come for the course to the center and he used to come after office so he used to come directly from office so when he used to come he was very tired and he used to just sit, sit down and not much would enter his buddhi because he was already filled with all that happened during the day and then when he came the first day i thought that you know everybody has come from home and this baba's child has come from office so i asked him do you need some water and then it was the the winter season so i offered him some warm water and then i gave him one toli and then uh four or five days later i asked him so this went on for some days and then some days later i asked him do you understand anything uh or are you you know too filled up with those thoughts that you don't get it so we could change your time or something so he told me a very nice thing he told me i don't need to understand anything i just know i have to come here every day <laughs> so as in how do you know that so he said because you people are compassionate and that's very important so i have seen that in that small act which you did which you fetched water for me you gave me one toli when i was hungry that's enough and i will keep coming here for lifetime and i am sure i can understand something or the other some day and it is immaterial whether i understand it today or not and it was very beautiful this was my this was a very beautiful experience i had in seva so baba says that you know when you have sympathy then the 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 soul they feel nurtured in that sympathy and sympathy is not in the act per se it is in the feeling that goes behind the act that's very very important because sometimes you know these days there is a culture of you know gifting big things and doing you know throwing elaborate parties or doing something big for the other person but i don't know whether that nourishes the soul because you are investing your money yes but i don't know whether one is investing that much of thought and love and attention and care for in that thought of creating that whole thing so baba says the world needs sympathy right now and you have to be full of this capacity and this bhavna of giving if you want to nurture the world with that gift of sympathy and baba says you are the children who can do that and when you do that then everybody's heart feels fulfilled and you know every soul is very powerful i don't think that any soul is incapable of acquiring the health wealth and whatever they need so every soul can have a peaceful mind they can have wealth they can earn for themselves they can do everything for themselves the only thing you need is to fill their heart with baba's gifts through these acts of sympathy and 
I remember in one class, Janki Dadi Ji was saying something very nice. Dadi Ji said that, you know, when we did 14 years of tapasya, so in Karachi and so in Karachi when they were there, so there was 14 years of tapasya and people think that maybe you know 350 400 people were staying together and doing tapasya but it was not like that we 350 400 babas surrendered children were not in one place they were all scattered in five to six different or seven different buildings and then it was not like every child stayed with baba so Brahma Baba was there, but then he used to meet everybody. But it was not like you stayed with Brahma Baba. But Dadi said that every child felt a lot of love from Brahma Baba because Baba's attention was always on every child, child, child of Baba. So of course, Shri Baba has his drishti on every child. But even Brahma Baba had his dhyan or attention on every child. And that attention made every child feel that I'm special, I'm unique, I'm responsible, I'm loved, I'm cared and I have a return responsibility of that love. And that is what made them, you know, take these steps of courage which the world thinks are very big steps but when Baba loves you these are very step, small steps of courage you take. So this is what Baba is asking us to do. Baba is saying you fill your heart with what I am giving you and then you should have the wealth of sympathy so that you take care. So you know, um, so Baba's so sometimes you know there are these questions like once you know there was the sister and she told me didi is it important to um, uh, is it uh, is the murli not enough is it also important to have a manthan or sometimes why can't we have just you know meeting but not bhog we could just meet but no bhog so you know there are always these questions about why do you people do so much extra? <laughs> but Baba says that, you know, every soul has so much time, attention and capacity of love. And if you have sympathy, then you use it to uplift others spiritually. And when you're selfish, you just don't use it and then you lose that capacity eventually. So Baba says that, Whatever you have, you have gifts that drama has given you and you have gifts that Baba has given you. So why not use those gifts all the time so that you create an environment? You see, it was Brahma Baba's sympathetic heart that he thought that when children come, they should have a place to stay. Or it is the sympathy of Brahma Baba which said that you know, there should be a yagya where there should be staying and fee, food and everything. And every child should feel the love of coming to Baba's home. So this love, this act of sympathy makes you very creative. You create. So, you know, you create spaces, you create environments, you create methods, you create, you know, you different yuktis you apply. So that every soul receives Baba no, Baba's knowledge, love, peace, purity. So this is what act of sympathy does. So this is something. And then Baba today talks about courage also. And Baba says, courage and success. So when where there is courage, there is success. Because every soul is entitled to success. We are all Baba's children, God's children. Success is our birthright. Yes, just like God never fails, God's children never fail. So, the success is our birthright. But 
why are we not able to have our birthright is because we put all these self doubt and fears and worries and all of those things in the in middle you know we make effort but we do it with ego and self doubt and fear and worry and what if but and all those feelings and that is why success evades us so baba says when you have courage what is courage so you see with gyan we have understood that we have had 63 births of vicious karma so obviously we will have feelings which are of low consciousness yes those those thoughts will come those feelings will come so that is not the problem the feeling is not the problem the problem is when you succumb to those feelings and when we say courage it means taking one thought one determined thought and overcoming those feelings so whatever low thought low feeling you are having coming from those old sanskars you overcome them with courage and when you do that and you keep your feelings pure then success is your birthright and um i think that the only effort is spiritual effort and everything else is a by product of spiritual effort but people uh, i not to not even people you know maya maya tricks us into believing that postpone spiritual effort make every other effort and then you will be successful but if you understand this one thing that every other effort is very overrated it is only one effort the spiritual effort where you make the effort to align yourself with your core qualities with baba's qualities that effort you make and every other effort you don't have to make yes so every other effort becomes very easy and it is my experience that nature your itself becomes the best tower so you know there is one brother and he is very concerned about me all the time <laughs> so so you know what he does is whenever we take up a project or some seva he would tell me didi i am very experienced let me tell you these are the hurdles and the obstacles that come in this kind of a work so let me warn you in advance so you must take care of this and that and this happens and that happens and then you have to deal with all this nonsense before you can go and do that work and um yesterday he told me something very beautiful he said from this day i will not tell you this happens and that happens because every time i give you a long list and nothing happens with you so all those challenges that come in every person's way they don't come in your way so i said because i don't invite them even when you give me that list i don't invite them so even when you tell me that i know this is god's work and it can happen magically and whenever there is an obstacle you know sometimes there are obstacles but then you don't need the you don't need those worldly ways to overcome them you can overcome them with yog power you can overcome them with love you can overcome them with you know faith uh, i have seen that when i have told people that i believe you will help me they have helped me so just telling this much that i really believe that i will get the cooperation from you and believing that give, makes you eligible for the cooperation yes so you don't have to do very much for everything just go this way and use baba's gifts to overcome obstacles also and they go away you don't have to be very worldly wise i don't know whether worldly and wise go together also because <laughs> when you are very worldly you are not wise you are creating problems for yourself and you know sometimes people make a comment okay 
even if we tell this person something they won't understand so let's not mess with this let's do the work because you know the more you are well versed with the ways of the world the world knows you are well versed so they show you their ways but if you are very innocent very simple they don't show you those ways also <laughs> okay so that is also there so this is one thing and then so courage means overcoming all that chatter within and then you arrive at what is your birthright which is success your every thought every word every action will be successful okay then baba today says that so baba today says that knowledge uh, baba says i reign the reign of knowledge and this reign purifies okay so just like the physical rain it cleans and you know washes this spirit this knowledge rain the rain of knowledge it purifies the soul now the thing is baba's knowledge every single sentence in baba's murli is to make us pure because the aim of this knowledge is to purify but the question is do i want to be pure what is my aim do i want to be pure yes and if i want to be pure why so do i understand that this is the time to only aim for purity because this is the time to go back to the pure world baba has given us the knowledge of the cycle and baba has told us that the cycle tells you that this is the time of destruction and everything in the old world is going to be destroyed and then you see that when you ask people you ask anybody anybody walking on the road you ask them what after kaliyug is destroyed they will instantly say there'll be satyug because we know it's a cycle so when we can see that destruction don't you understand that this is the time of destruction yes and when i was working with the government so there was one officer in my office and he once told me you brahma kumaris are always talking about destruction so i said i did not tell you about destruction ever but you have told me many times about destruction so he told me how have i told you about destruction So I said, you keep telling me work in the sustainability project, and you are giving me those sustainability work. So we were dealing with SDGs. So I told him, you are giving me that sustainable development goal work, right? So what does that mean? It means it is unsustainable. And let me tell you, you are not doing anything to make it sustainable. so we are using these fancy words all the time the whole world is saying we have a sustainability problem so when you can't sustain you perish that's how it goes and are we doing anything to make it sustainable do you think that the way we are exploiting nature or the way we are exploiting our own inner reserves for sensual pleasure and not you know not restoring it we are not we are cutting trees not planting trees we are feeding on our spiritual strength not building it so if the whole world is going that way then destruction is coming everybody knows that but the thing is we have a very strange buddhi and our buddhi is so strange that you see people dying in your left right in front of you behind you and then you think you will never die so you can see that everything is collapsing 
but still you don't you don't acknowledge that this is the time of destruction and we have a strange idea that if you just wished something away it would go away so every day you wish that destruction doesn't happen it'll go away no it doesn't happen like that so baba says that everybody knows that there is going to be destruction and although people say that the bk say there'll be destruction what else would there be if you are not doing anything about how the world is moving towards destruction and then baba today says that when there is destruction you know from the scriptures every religion says that at the time of destruction god comes and he he does the act which allows us to move forward in every religion if you look at christianity they talk about the noah's ark they talk about some people being taken across and others going and finding their place in destruction in uh, in islam also there is a similar story in hinduism it is called that vishnu ji took matsya avatar and then he asked you know make create a boat make everybody sit in that boat and then that boat i will take across and others will perish so baba says there is at the time of destruction god comes and creation happens that is also very celebrated in every scripture every religion celebrates this and then what is it that makes you question that i have come and i will definitely teach you something which you have not learned until now because it is said if you do what you have always done you will get what you have always got so obviously i will teach you some things which you were unaware of and you were doing until now and because of which you were moving towards impurity and then i teach you newer ways of thought living action which take you towards purity what is the rocket science in that it is very very simple to understand and baba says what do i teach you so i teach you to remember me i teach you to churn the discuss of self realization i teach you to always keep churning that i am a deity soul i am that soul who lived in the soul world and i am pure peaceful royal dignified so you know worthy in myself keep churning that keep remembering me and keep seeing yourself as my child and then baba today says don't eat food created by uh, cooked by people not on the path of purity it is said jaisa anna waisa man so if you consume food which is cooked by you know so baba today says very interestingly that <laughs> Baba says you children are now changing from dirty to clean you have the understanding that you must not eat cooked food by eat food cooked by impure people it is also said as is the food so is the mind sin accumulates for those who buy bad things for those who prepare it and also for those who eat it so there are some who don't eat it but they buy it for others yes or there are some who don't buy it eat it but just prepare it so you accumulate sin in all these three ways so baba is telling us a very deep karmic philosophy and we must understand this so refrain from buying impure food cooking or eating 
So let's say you don't eat non-vegetarian anymore but you buy it for others or you cook it and give it to a family member who likes it. No. You share that sin with them by doing that. So Baba says pay a lot of attention to food. And then Baba says that food affects the mind and also company affects the mind. So Baba says when you are in the company of Lokik people, so you go home, yes, so you are listening to Gyan and everything and then you go to your ancestral home or village or you know, to your peop your people, the ones you call your people and then what happens? Their company starts coloring you. So that is also very important because most of the times you know you go home and then also eat food prepared by them. <laughs> so that is also another reason. So Baba says be very careful about these things. Okay, so these are very deep karmic philosophies. So acts of the mouth is not only speaking but eating also and they affect your state of the mind. And Baba says, pay very good attention to what I am teaching you. I am giving you knowledge which will purify you. Knowledge of everything, knowledge of how to wake up, what to think, who to remember, what to eat, how to eat, how to engage with others, how to sleep, how to, you know, keep observing what you are thinking. I am giving you the knowledge for everything. I am giving you the knowledge of how to use your time, thought, money, everything. And Baba says, with this knowledge, when you change your actions, then you will change your destiny. You will become pure. Okay. So we didn't have this knowledge. That is why we were doing everything with good intention but no knowledge of good action, so we couldn't accumulate punya karma and become pure. Now we have this knowledge. And then Baba today tells us something very nice. Baba says that when you keep doing what I am telling you and slowly, you know, drama will also show you that whatever Baba is saying is right, just like it happened in COVID. So even children like me who were in Baba's Gyan for so long had deeper faith during COVID. <laughs> so you know the faith intensifies with scenes of drama. So Baba says in the future you will have many scenes in the drama which will help you intensify your faith. And then what happens is as your faith is intensified you start feeling detachment from the old world and you start imbibing Baba's dharana. So whatever Baba asks you to do through the mind, mouth, words, acts, with your time, money, you start doing that because you have deeper faith. And then what happens is, Baba says there will be enthusiasm in your intellect. And this is a very new term in Hindi, Baba says, buddhi ka hausla. And I was thinking about this, what is this buddhi ka hausla? So you'd see that the biggest thing that is missing right now is enthusiasm. Yes, these days, what do you see? Lack of enthusiasm in everybody. Yes, and then you are trying to motivate yourself very through physical methods, you know, through speeches and through exercise and this and that and through medicine and still it's not working. So Baba says, just when your, when your faith grows and your dharana grows, when you start imbibing ba Baba's directions, when you start doing what Baba is telling you to do, then you have enthusiasm in your buddhi. So you have a lot of zeal and enthusiasm within. 
and that enthusiasm is not dependent on any external profit gain or any motivation coming from outside and then when the whole world is going through hopelessness you will be very enthusiastic and this enthusiasm will make you do seva and that is what will make you an angel because who is an angel an angel is somebody who serves despite circumstances yes so baba says this is how you turn from a brahmin to an angel by having this enthusiasm in your buddhi which happens because as the drama progresses you start having faith that this is baba and whatever he is saying is true and you start imbibing baba's directions in your life and if you look at the whole you know this ishwarya karya people are amazed at how god's children are always motivated yes and this motivation this enthusiasm this will power you know even when your hormones are deceiving you <laughs> even when the situation your own body is you know giving you a sense of helplessness so we saw this enthusiasm work in case of dadis so even when their bodies were in great pain they just felt very enthusiastic enthusiastic enough to smile to ask the doctor how are you feeling today yes so that much of enthusiasm you will have even in when your body is failing your uh, hormones are deceiving you or other circumstances are just pulling you into fear and uh, doubt and worry but this buddhi this strong buddhi with will power with great zeal and enthusiasm will enable you to keep up your spirits and seva in the last time so this is what baba says and baba says that you keep doing your thing and then drama will help you and i will tell you one incident so there was this brother and he used to forget things so you know he didn't have a very good memory so he would keep reading the murli writing the murli revising the murli but whenever you ask him he wouldn't remember any point of the murli <laughs> and then he would always tell me didi i feel very bad i don't remember the murli i try to remember baba but i am very anxious all the time i can't remember baba and then he would always be very sad about it but you know when he had a an illness in the body and he went for the operation he was very calm during the operation during that whole hospitalization he was very calm he was not anxious he had deep faith and everything and then i told him you did really well i didn't expect this from you <laughs> you were really well behaved <laughs> and you there were no signs of you being anxious or anything and then he told me i don't know didi but i felt like baba is there with me and i tried to feel this many times but earlier i didn't feel but in that moment i don't know i felt like i don't need anybody around me baba is with me and even if i lose even if i leave the body it's okay i'm with baba i'm feeling very nice and then his he got operated very nicely successfully and why i'm telling you this is because you know if you keep making consistent effort then you realize that just like you know you keep hammering and then the final blow breaks something similarly you keep making effort sometimes you feel kuch ho to nahi raha we are only doing it but then drama helps you and then one day you start breaking those old patterns which were very hard to break and then you start having that dharana even constant remembrance you will have but baba says you keep making effort and then drama will help you then there'll be dharana and then there'll be this transition from human to angel 
okay so just remember what baba tells us and baba is giving us the knowledge and if we keep imbibing the knowledge then purity is not far away okay om shanti